somebody that cannot eat ass the way I like my ass to be eaten. You keep up with me too much. You are a stalker. You need help. I'm here to help you because if I get you, I'm going to hurt you. What's going on my gals and my gays and my straight boys? I'm here with a quick little YouTube update for you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys here too long, but I got to keep you guys abreast on what's going on in my personal life. Now, why y'all believe the same dude that was in my last story time, the one that popped up in my apartment when I had Dior in here, he popped up in my life again. This guy is delusional, downright stalkerish. Like, I don't know what is going on. I don't know if he needs counseling, but if this video reaches somebody, please direct me to a mental health specialist for this bitch. I mean, I think he's going insane. I think he needs help. Now, if you guys remember that last story time with Dior, he was a part of it. The crazy one that popped up in my apartment, but I made a specific story time with him as well when I met him one night and we was cool. We was going good. Things was going real great, but his delusional side came out and I left him alone. And now we're in a whole new year and this guy is still popping up. Listen to what he says, you guys, and I'll put the messages on the screen. He texts me on Jack. I'm minding my business, doing my own thing, and he texts me on Jack with all sorts of delusional type shit. Like, this is crazy. And for him to be outside of my apartment at nighttime, describing the vicinity of what's going on in front of my door, this is crazy. So if you guys can help me direct him to a mental health specialist before I have his ass lying under somebody's car, He's crazy. He's a he. He's a crazy trade. Once I put the ass on these trades, y'all, they just lose their mind. They lose their mind. I don't, I, I don't know what it is. It gotta be the ass. So as I'm scrolling on, as I'm as we're scrolling on Jax, you know, a, a rolling conversation. It's a rolling conversation. And then he has the audacity to not even have a profile picture. Like, what kind of shit are you on? But let's read. And the messages pop up on the screen. It's time for me to tell you guys a story. This is him. Hey, what's up, baby boy? What you doing? What's up? Ch chilling, trying to come see you. I really miss your ass. I fucked up. I'm ready to come back home and make you my husband. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Are you Delulu? Are you delusional, bitch? Your husband. I'm 23. I'm not walking down no aisle, especially down an aisle with a fat lip trout that spit in my mouth. If you guys don't remember that, he spit in my, he spit in my mouth at this very location right here. He was sitting here, I was on the floor, and this boy spit in my mouth. We're not gonna get into it. I said, who is this? This is his name right here. You at home, I'm gonna come see you. Damn, I can't get a reply back. I was outside your house. So the whole time I'm in a bathtub soaking my wools away, you know, it was a long day at work, a bitch was tired and drained. He outside of my apartment describing the neighbor's car. So I'm like, LOL, I don't know what house you're speaking of. I moved. Look at me. I moved. Any, oh, you moved. Damn, I can't get the new Addy. I keep saying, who is this? Because I don't know who you are. And so then he sent two photos of, of himself. He sent like snap photos. So when I clicked them, they'll erase. So, you know, but then again, he messaged me on Facebook. Like this boy went and found my Facebook. Like you really are delusional. I know the ads be good. I know that. But for you to do all of that, that's a little, that's a little, that's a little downright insane. You know what I'm saying? I know I could be crazy, but I've never chased a guy like that. Especially a guy that don't want me. Like, ugh, you're weird. And he said, you forgot about me? I said, I'm supposed to remember you because, bitch, I'm a bad bitch. Like, you know, I see a plethora of men in my day-to-day -day life. I don't be hard up to remember one face, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I kind of go by, you know, my photographic memory remembers woods and mussies and selfs, not faces. So, yeah. And I said, I'm supposed to remember you? And he was like, of course, where you at? Can we chill? And then I went back to his, his other message and I said, and it make me your husband, boy, stop. Like, what the fuck? I'm not walking down no aisle with you. You, ugh, you're not even worthy of my presence. And he was like, stop what? I said, go find somebody else to play with. As you can see, I'm pretty thick and thriving while I make. Cause I mean, I mean, you know. He's talking about, um, I'm trying to come back home. We could turn on the sofa and watch TV, bitch, not on this sofa. Because I think you put a, I think that was you that put that sinkhole in my sofa. I think that was you that put that sinkhole there. Bitch, you not welcome in here no more. Never again. That was you put that sinkhole in my sofa. But was up there watching Jeepers Creepers, bitch. That was you put that sinkhole in my sofa. I 
husband that was your fat ass. I said, why are you even texting me or trying to get in touch with me? And then he went on this big, long rant. As you can see right here, he just went on a big, long spill. He was like, because I miss you, I'm going to keep it a book with you. I've been trying to find you. No lie. I was going to come back to your hometown and see if I could have found you. Are you a detective? Like, what the hell? You was cool, people, no lie. I was tripping one night, and I was the one who fucked all that up. Young and dumb, didn't know what I had until you left. You making it sound like we was in a relationship together. Like, you gave me a promise ring. You did not pay one bill in this bitch. So, the fact that you feel this type of way towards me, when all you was was a, sneak, a sneaky link going wrong, ugh. You going to let me in so we can sit on the sofa and talk? And talk, I'm outside. And he said, well, I'm not responding. And so at this point, he, he tried to video message me on Jack. Jack, you gotta, y'all gotta get y'all shit together because these men is crazy. I said, I don't stay back there anymore and you only get one chance. You blew it, babe. I moved since all that happened. It was too much. Bitch, as you can see, we still here. We still here. And if this video ever reaches you, if you come on my doorstep, I'm not gonna show you no mercy. You better ask the Lord for mercy because, bitch, me, I'm not showing you any. Where you moved at? Why you lying? I see your car here. I see your car and everything's still here. If it's meant to be somebody with double, with double back in your life, but it don't look like it at all, the curtains and stuff folded up. Miss Jackson. <laughs> Y'all, I had this bright ass ring light on. So my curtains was rolled up and I'm in the bathtub. So the whole ring light was shining the entire living room. So he seen all the curtains rolled up. And I'm like, this nigga really outside my apartment because when he came in the first time, like my curtains was like in a different style and they're rolled up right now. So this boy was really sitting outside, outside my apartment. Like that's crazy. This why you can't let everybody know what you say, eh? And even though we far removed from it, like you, gosh. I see boy, you confusing yourself. I moved, I moved on, I don't do drama. I moved in December so that my lease expired. <laughs> Y'all don't type a bitch I am. Y'all know a bitch like that. Alright. That's it. You better get it from in front of them folks. Shit. I don't know them people. Make me seem like somebody else did back here. And it's so damn. So you don't want to tell me where you live at? I don't do drama either. To be honest, I don't like all that. And for me to still be here trying to communicate with you, God I must mean I really like you because anything else I'd be like, fuck this. But then he got me right here. He said this was it was what message? It was this message right there. Oh, I don't want like it because he goes see it. It was that message. He said, you want to let me eat your booty one more time since you don't want me? <laughs> Hell no. You don't know how to eat in the first place, bitch. So then I see you ain't eating when you had it. All you could do is just stand it if you ever see it in public. I said, I'm bad as fuck. I mean, obviously. But see how you treated me? So somebody else go cherish it. Look at me, somebody else go cherish it. Bitch, I don't want a relationship right now. And you right, I'm sorry how I treated you, I did. I'm here to apologize. When you wanna start back texting me? I said, no need to apologize, I wish you well. And he said, that's really how you feeling? And then I blocked him after that. That shit is not funny. It's, that ain't funny though. <laughs> So I see all that to say this because I just felt like you guys had to know this because I feel as if a situation is about to pop up now because this happened, let's check the date, it is March 6th. This happened March, March 5th, March 5th. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you can see that, that says March 5th. This happened yesterday. And I'm also posting this here because if anybody else is in my area and this profile texted you, that is him, he is insane. I'm here to help y'all out. This man is insane. Alert. What they say in school, cold blue? Get the fuck out the room. He is insane. Watch out. He's spitting in people's mouths. He don't eat ass good, but he can suck a mean areola. That, that's one thing he can do. He can suck a mean areola. He, let me describe him. He is a black fish. He is a trout. Trout and a gout, bitch. He probably have gout in his foot. I want to show you guys his Facebook account because I really feel like I have to let you guys know what's going on, who he is, because I don't know if he could be playing it in everybody else's messages. Like he, this boy is really, I think, mentally ill. I did not know that when I gave him the ass. I did not know that. Now I know that. I still like to say this. If you come on my doorstep, it may be time for me to get a, a weapon, a concealed weapon, because I'm gonna have to pistol up your ass for 40 minutes like Boosie said. You may have to be a victim. But that is me keeping you guys abreast on what's going on. Mm. 
yeah, you know, every day is something. The trades can't get enough of me. I mean, <laughs> sad, y'all. It's a sad day for these trades. But if you like this little short little video that I just so happened to make off the cuff, I'll be back with more story times for you guys soon. So if you did watch this video, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. I mean, it's a vibe. It's not a full-fledged story, but I mean, it's a developing story. It's developing as we speak. I will link the previous two story times that he has been a part of because for some reason, I cannot get rid of this, this cockroach. If I spray that bitch with raid, he's not dying. What? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And at this point, it's just tied it through. But thank you guys for watching and listening to this TED Talk.